you don't need to be fooling people that don't contribute a dime to your well-being mentally physically spiritually financially emotionally whatever if you continue building your craft you will not get unnoticed my loves welcome back to my channel it's your girl valerie or you can call me kaka if you're new here please don't make it the last time here okay do all to subscribe like this video drop your comments and share if you love lifestyle videos if you love vlogs if you love self-development or self-care development videos you're watching the right channel so just sit back and relax you can get your pen and paper and get some points down okay? so we're in the third half or third quarter of 2024 we are in july at the moment i'm not really the kind of person to be aggressive with my goals every year but it's actually good to have goals yearly monthly weekly daily whatever it is like today i stepped out of the house to walk outside because i had this foresight coming that there won't be light today and when i woke up there was no light but before leaving the house there was light on my channel i focus my vlogs mostly on productivity because i work from home i make most of my videos at home you know maybe getting ready to start my day to work or do whatever i have to do or mostly reset vlogs i'm cleaning i'm shopping i'm you know planning and just arranging myself because i feel like if your mental space is good if you're good mentally it will reflect in your physical space your physical aspect of your life so mental and physical actually go hand in hand right so that's why i'm making this video today let's just say a life audit a life audit audit basically means sitting back to take a deeper look at whatever the case is in accounting the audits the audit journals the audits you know your accounting books and all of that so for your life you can sit back and reflect check the things you did well and the things you didn't do well things you can improve on and you know just your highlights and actually things that made you happy and made you sad right i'll be sharing tips that will help us okay improve for the remaining half of the year or the rest of the year we are in q3 now and q2 was q2 started well and then i think around june i had a major mental breakdown and i realized that i have just been overthinking first of all if you're looking for a way to be productive do these things first when you wake up if you're the spiritual kind of person take out some time meditate pray and once you're done immediately have your bath this will help you put your your feet in order to help you put yourself in order because you have taken off that stress of the previous night and you're starting the new day at first the thing about having your bath right it's not just putting water on your body like take your bath properly use a good soap use a good shower gel use a good body scrub exfoliate use something really nice like when i'm buying things for the month when i'm buying my hygiene products i make sure i buy things that when i look at it it will make me want to have my bath it will make me think of having my bath it will give me that ginger <laughs> to go to the bathroom to shower so use products that you find enticing use products that you love use products that smell nice use products that actually do the work so that when you use them you don't just feel like i'm just having my bath there's something intentional about it so after having your bath you dress your bed you clean your space you have something to eat if you're not an early breakfast person like me you can drink water take your vitamins if you have to but it's good to eat before taking your vitamins so oh well you know when to take that one but make sure you know your body is well regulated in the morning i drink water a lot you know just to regulate my body if i know that i am not working out and if i know i'm not going to have breakfast then change your space for people who work from home like me i work from home i notice that when i'm at home back to back i can spend seven days at home like the whole seven days at home and i will not leave the house i might just walk around the compound but i will not leave my gate so what i started doing right i leave the house sometimes to walk outside today i'm walking outside because last night it rained or something like that yeah i think it rained and then there was no light i'm like i know that on monday morning i'm not going to have light in the house and i need at least minimum four hours of power supply for me to be effective and efficient working from home because i work eight hours nine to five right last night i already just programmed my mind that you know what i'm going to work outside today so 
when I woke up, I had my bath, I arranged my space, laid my bed, everything, and then I dressed up. That's another thing. Even if you're working from home, try to wear clean clothes. Try to wear something fresh. Just try to keep that fresh piece to help you, to energize you, right? So I dressed up and then as I was about leaving the house, they brought a the light. I'm like, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to work outside. I've already packed my things and I'm going to work outside. So another thing I would just ask is that try to invest in work tools. Try to invest in personal items. Try to invest in things that will help you, you know, or facilitate your your life or make your life better. I actually got this work, um, this laptop bag. I got it from Amara's closet. I will drop, I think I've shared this before, but I'll still drop the link to this laptop back in in the description box so normally i work um when i'm going outside to work i just put my laptop in my tote bag and then i go out why is my laptop just exposed like that and i found something really cute anytime i look at this bag it motivates me to want to work outside i want to just put it in this bag and go outside to work so that's another thing all those little things you think that are ah, they are childish they are babies that color get them i like my accessories colorful See this hand sanitizer. It's pink, and I can carry it everywhere and anywhere. Just hang it on my bag, and I'm outside. Like I'm with it. I can always sanitize my hands properly. Do you get? So these things are not expensive. These things are really, really affordable. So these are things that when you go to the pharmacy or you go to the supermarket, you just buy and throw in your bag, or you just, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? So try to be intentional about the little things or things that will help improve your life. So now we are done with the physical part, and of course, you know, the spiritual part, when you wake up, meditate, say your prayer and everything. Now, looking back at Q2, what were those things that you feel you can improve on? Those habits you want to stop? One habit I don't want to take into Q3 will be not knowing how to overcome fear. Yes, there are certain things that I have achieved or certain things that I have... What was the word now? You know when you have a task to do and you just be like, this thing is hard, this thing is difficult. Without even trying, without even putting in effort. And then when you now try to be like, uh-uh, this thing is not even hard though. All I needed to do was just to look for a smarter means or a smarter way to achieve it. I like trying, but this... Q2, this Q2 that just passed. Oh my god. If something is difficult, I'll just be like, damn, I don't want to feel. I don't want to. I don't want to do rubbish. I don't want to shout at me. I don't want. And then when I now do this thing, I'm like, oh wow, I'm actually good at this thing. Oh. And then they'll be praising me. Oh, you actually did well, Valerie, or you did work or something. I'm like, why then was I beating myself over nothing? So that's one habit. I I'm trying my best. Like, I don't want to push it further in q3 the second habit i will not want to take into q2 will be not believing in myself i think it's related to that intertwined to the last point the point i just mentioned now i really want to believe in myself more like what will people think what will people say you're not even good enough you're just there you're just you know all those things used to pass my ear now like you like whatever you think is not my business then my highlight of q2 honestly speaking i don't have any major highlights i don't have any highlight 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 the only thing i can say is that i'm just thankful for help i'm grateful for you know i'm grateful for recognition i'm grateful for acceptance i'm grateful for life and i have come to realize that if you continue building your craft you will not get unnoticed you will not get unnoticed and i'm happy that i've been able to use content creation to you know step into places content creation has really made me you know has taken me five steps further you know in terms of confidence in terms of meeting people in terms of oh yeah i have a craft that can actually give me money or make some earnings for me you know so yeah that's just it something i would like to do more in q3 let us not forget to declutter as you're decluttering your wardrobe your old clothes declutter on your social media if you have to unfollow certain people this is the best time to unfollow them if you need to follow certain people to improve yourself this is the best time to follow them you know i've said this thing before on my channel like if you're following people that do not add value to your life unfollow 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 you don't need to be following people that don't contribute a dime to your well-being mentally physically spiritually financially emotionally whatever you don't need to be following such people
everybody is posting their achievements left right and center up and down back and front and you're just uh, looking like what's of my own life <laughs> there's nothing up your life just take your time don't rush just stick to your plan stick to your plan your plan and then keep it moving that's what i can see another thing i'd like to add would be to be more serious with my faith journey apart from attending sunday church i also want to take out time to study the bible more and just you know having my own quiet time but i want to do it more i want to at least daily even if it's not in the morning because i do family prayers with my family or within the day i just read something related to the bible it helps actually it really really helps because there are times where you just be floating as if you don't even know what's going on and then you just open the bible if you're a christian you can relate and then you just open the bible and then you just find yourself in a situation in the bible and you're like oh wow this person actually went through this thing i'm going through so there's a solution Do you understand another solution is faith hope and active prayer life right an active prayer life so yeah that's just it had plans or if you have plans for 2024 it's not too late to achieve them uh, sometimes i crack jokes and some more the year is already over like six months gone already what are we going to do next and everything everything thing yeah, da, 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 da. let me tell you people that even november eh, that's when things will start to kick off for them even december 29th that's it <laughs> that's when things will start to kick off for them kick off for them so just stick to your plan stick to your goals and honestly you be fine one more thing i'll add is journaling writing in your jotter or your book or your sticky notes i love writing a lot like when i write down things i know that i have things to do like these things are not just in space or in icloud <laughs> they are they are there in front of me when i flip the page i'm seeing what i have to do next or things i have to do sticking out things from my to-do list helps me a lot and i tend to be more productive like now that i'm working outside i had like to do this of things i'm going to do today for work and i have ticked everything off so yeah i received something today I actually ordered this jota like i told you i love writing and i hope this video actually motivates you to you know kick off and just get yourself back in shape and in order you know for planning and your daily life there is no pressure like i said i love adding little things to my life to make i dropped something to make my life easy to make my life better or to be more efficient so i ordered this jota from jota's ng i think that's what they're called i would write their name in the description box so they're in abuja just in case you want to order you can order from them and this is how the package came <laughs> this is so pretty so guys can you see Tell me why I will not want and it came with a pen. Oh my god, this brand, you know what they are doing. This is a is it a5 or a4? I think forgotten. The one that is bigger share is a something. I'll check it out. And this is the closest to pink. <laughs> because if it's not in pink, count me out. So yeah. This is it. I'm using my phone camera, so I don't know how you're viewing it. And yeah, they gave me a biro. This is super thoughtful. This is really nice. This is what it looks like. It's 200 pages. And okay, this one does not have the doesn't have the planner. Anyway, it's still fine because I prefer to write my own things down and list it all myself. But yeah, this is it. Super cute. And tell me why I'm not going to write in this book. Everything from that's gonna happen from today till December 31st is going to be in this jota. Hopefully, find your own aesthetics. Find your own. Find what you like. Not because somebody likes pink, you now start liking pink. Me, I've always been a pink girly. When people ask me, "Oh, Kaka, when did you start liking pink?" I'm like, "You really don't know me because you didn't give it to me, right?" So you're definitely not going to know that part because i've always been a pink girly since they gave that to me like i literally had a whole barbie doll house i think i've said it here before and yeah just that you know growing up you might not really be able to express or express that part or side of you it happens but here and there people that know you know that you actually love pink so yeah this is the closest to to pink by the way and yeah so find your aesthetics not because someone likes brown or someone likes pink you're not liking pink and brown or white and pink or anything just mix it up make make your aesthetics your vibe or make your vibe your aesthetics whatever works for you but make it your own that's all i can say we've come to the end of this video 
and I hope this really motivates you to get yourself back together, plan yourself again and add one or two things to your daily life so that you can be productive and you can achieve whatever you want to achieve, okay? I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment and share. Remain fabulous and stay blessed. Bye.